Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigal here, welcome back to our video. So first up, we're going to fight boss Batman with Ligvarki. Generally speaking, I wouldn't be too confident on 700 mil on the story with Ligvarki, because the only thing I have is a level 5 and a level 1 puppet of Zatanna for passive stats. But here we have that thing where we can manipulate this guy into having a ton of um, weakness by popping his damage buffs. But yeah, first priority is to power generate. Get hit here. Because I'm building too high of a combo at this point. Not sure if super move can pop it. Though better say than sorry. Pushing him to the corner, though, it's a bit pointless because he's gonna get back to the middle eventually when he does super move anyway. Okay, Joker's dead, don't care. Oh, come on. Stop backing off into a jump attack. I, I hate that. I absolutely despise that. Nine stacks and getting to ten Im immediately. There we go, special two. And get all those pops. There we go, there we go, that's some, that's some good damage over there. That's definitely some good damage. Yeah, this could have done it from full HP, but if you watched the previous video, you know what I did with the rest of the HP. Oh, and would you take a look at that? I got Cheetah from the rewards. Absolutely amazing as usual. Last time it didn't go too well against this man, but this time I'm using God Killer, so there's nothing we can do. So we will bully him this time. We will be the aggressor this fight. Not sure I have enough damage with God Killer though, but it should be close to enough. He's gonna be able to do some stuff at the start of the fight because I tagged in and out a bit. Get some power generation to get the super move going. A super move and it's gonna be a 5.4 mil, which is not bad. Definitely not bad. So I was expecting less. Again, level 5 and level 1 pop it for passive stats. That's what I'm working with here and with a 4 star Batum on the ground. I'm not gonna let him do super move if he's randomly able to squeeze in a super move through my attacks which sometimes happens is fine because he's got his attack reduced so much by the god killer that's not going going to matter Okay, we're gonna get at least two more full activations, and uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. We'll see, I can tell for sure after the next activation of passive.
Okay, one more will for sure not be enough. But we might get a bit more than one more activation. Okay, it's active again. Yeah, I do have the time to activate it again, maybe, though it's gonna stay up for like one or two seconds. So really not sure about this. No, I don't even have time to activate it again. Well, it went well. 22 mil left, yeah, definitely doable with pretty much any team. We clean up here with the multiverse team with Puff of the Tenor Multiverse Armor Supergirl. I have a pretty interesting idea for boss Superman though, I'm most likely not gonna get to fight him today. Though you guys are most likely gonna see the recordings uh, tomorrow. I guess today it's the video that I failed to complete yesterday and it's uh, topped off with one fight today. So yeah, a, a, bit, a bit of a complicated situation, but you might get to see in, in this video somehow my fight against boss Superman actually. Even though at the moment I do not have the, the fights to do it. Okay, we got the infinite power. Whoop. 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 Brother, if, if you don't think she's farting when she's doing that third special, you're not living the dream. You're 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 living a lie. You're lying to yourself at that point. There we go, and I managed to somehow time it so he didn't have the window to do a super move, which I thought I would fail to do and get killed. But let's go, let's let's proceed. This man is fortified and also has great immunity. So I have Black Adam with Puppet of Zatanna. The Puppet will apply a couple of burnings, so the defense will not be a problem. And Rear Defense got Dark Metal Card, so that she puts the Dark Metal Card area on the ground whenever she tags in to actually use the special one. And yeah, let's get this going. And she's got the level 1 puppet so that she might have a chance to also apply some negative effects. Oh, that was not good. I should not have triggered darkness there because it stood for like only one second. Not darkness, uh, infinite power. Okay, now this one might stay a bit. Reapply this, and Raven gets back in, another special one. And the jump attack, and another special one. And yes, so far everything is going to plan, he's sitting no problem on the Dark Null cards area. Maybe I should do a bit of combo with Raven whenever she gets tagged in. Because the tagging is so awkward and I end up having to use a special one like twice. Might as well see your move, I guess. Though again, this might be more of a problem than helpful because I have to push him all the way back to the corner. Though this is not the biggest map, so it's actually the shortest map in the game. So we're going to be able to do that quite fast. Did I forget to put the puppet on Raven? Because she did not get three specials. Maybe I did. Oh, she's got Dark Metal cards. I'm, 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 I'm just that stupid. Yeah, she's got Dark Metal cards. Putting down the area beneath this man. And it's going fine so far, though I was expecting a bit more. 
I'm not sure we're proper, properly stacking the burning effect and properly keeping it up. Because unless I reset it before it expires, we're gonna get reduced efficiency out of it. Okay, that was a very close darkness reset. Yeah, this, this one's, it went well in terms of gameplay, but the damage was a bit lower than I was expecting. But yeah, it, it is what it is. We did a total of 228 mil. Not, not great. At least it went well as far as gameplay went. Okay, let's see if this can do the damage. I have uh, Firebox and Dr. Fate to give me the infinite combo. Dark Malakars on King to give me those guaranteed crits. Right, the release bypassing his crit resistance, crit immunity. And then I have uh, this man. Reduce the defense. Three special ones should do. Yes, they stack. Oh, come on. Yep, we're done. Let's get stacking with King as well. And stack this man in. There we go. Now we should stop struggling with power generation as well. Uh, looking at this, I don't think I have the damage to kill him with this. Like, not even close to it. Boy, this man is so annoying. He's so damn annoying overall. It's just a brick wall that you have to get through, and unlike like something like Raven in Advent of Chaos, he's an annoying brick wall, because I find him more annoying than fighting Raven, for example. How much damage is there left? Come on, how, how much? How much? Ah, 61 mil. May, may be doable, may be doable. Let's get this going, boys. We have Sir Banshee. We haven't seen Sir Banshee in a while. I have Puppet here and God Killer on Reverse Flash to be able to maybe set up an infinite combo after we get this man to the corner. I'm sure of this, how this is gonna go, but hopefully it's gonna go well.
Okay, nice power steal there. Block into a jump attack, special one. Maybe one more special one, because we had only one disable at that point. Slap down, block disabled. Oh, come on. I mean, it's not guaranteed to bypass the crit resistance, but... Mm, that's not good. So swipe down into continuing the combo doesn't seem to be a guaranteed um, thing. Even with his block disabled. Maybe like this. And we'll see how that works. But yeah, right now we're on track to actually kill this man. Okay, thank the super move. I'm fine with that not being a crit because it would not have been that much damage anyway. There we go. Block, jump back. Oh, not even that's a guarantee. Though it worked most of the time, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Can we kill him though? Because the, the damage is nice. The damage is definitely nice. But can we actually kill him? That non crit there was really not good. There we go. And it wasn't close, we had plenty of time left. Finally this, this shithead is dead. Over here I'm gonna try something a bit risky for the fun of it. So we have Raven here with uh, Puppet to give me some passive stats, we have EPI. So actually, actually, actually. I think I'm gonna switch... Um... Oh, should I? Nah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, so Nora Snow Globe on EPI. EPI is going to need to die two times but not die a third time i want to i want to try and get as much of a damage buff as possible against this man and maybe take all his health away in one combo or one hit we'll see how that goes uh, she can get hit actually i'm tagging in and out a bit to get enough um, power generation for the joker super move that's like the main priority uh, the fact that damage splits to the entire team is not good. Or Raven. It's okay, as long as she doesn't die, we're fine. Oh, that barely dealt any damage. Yeah, at this point we need to get Raven killed. Well, not too many times, not too many times. By the way, is healing working in this fight? Nah, no, no, not gonna try now. Yes, it's working because DPI is healing while being tagged out. Okay, first clone dead. Getting the second clone killed. And when it comes to him doing super move, I hope that EPI can tank it without dying at that point. Not sure if she can tank it without dying, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, one more special one and we're gonna be fine. Yeah, this one well. Except for Raven getting heavily damaged here, though she will heal. Disables all his specials. Why is there only one darkness? Oh, the, the one trigger to kill me. That makes sense. Now the moment of truth. Um, yeah, we survive. Good stuff. I think it's five darkness attacks at this point. Or not. Nah, Raven is full health. That's, that's not right. She triggered them to heal herself because she got damaged when the super move happened because that damaged the entire team. That makes sense, actually. Uh, 
Okay. Actually a bit underwhelming values here. Was expecting a bit more from doing all of that setup. And we might not even kill him if we keep messing around like this. But yeah, from like two damage buffs on Joker, plus super move done, plus all the Raven things, I was expecting a bit more. But this this is fine too. This went well enough. Yeah, that's Superman down. Thanks so much for watching. Like there if you liked it, this activist liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, if anybody was wondering about the rewards for killing Superman, there they are. Bye.